Hello, pool players. Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel, and thank you very much for watching, everyone. How many of you have ever struggled with trying to figure out how much tip to put on a cue ball to get it to come back to a certain spot? Well, this shot that I'm showing you right here is a 30 degree cut roughly into that corner. And we're gonna use a lot of low here. Always gonna draw this cue ball, but we're gonna manipulate the tip position and we're gonna manipulate the speed of the shot because the speed of the shot has a lot to do with where the cue ball goes, even though we might be striking it in the same spot. In other words, the same tip position. So this is what I want you to do. This works, you guys. It's gonna help your game big time. It will speed up the learning process or the learning curve tenfold. I can't even tell you how, how much it's helped me. But mark your table with paper reinforcement. Some people say don't do these because you're shooting the same shot. Well, this is why you do these because you want to shoot the same shot so that you can experiment to get back, to get that valuable feedback so you know what to do in a real game situation. So we also mark, like in this case, the eight ball. We're at the first diamond, about an inch and a quarter off the rail. Center table, cue ball. And now I'm gonna just pocket the shot. I wanna try to cleanly put it in. I don't wanna hit the rail on the way in. I wanna try to cleanly put this eight ball in. I'm gonna hit low right. And I'm gonna hit just a nice medium stroke. And it scratches. That's a good thing because you wanna know what the baseline is. How come that scratch? What happened there? You saw all the spin on the cue ball, right? Okay, now I'm gonna hit the same low right, but I'm gonna hit it with more action. I'm gonna to try to go through the cue ball a little bit more, and I'm gonna to try to draw it above the side pocket. I'm experimenting, let's see what happens. Keep your cue real level. You see the difference there? Way up table. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to hit it with less spin, more bottom, and let's see what happens here. So now I'm gonna hit that same speed, low only. And now it hits below the side pocket. Do you see what's happening here, you guys? When I started this game, working on my game, I did this over and over and over, hours per day, to try to learn. I used to hear him say it on uh, uh, YouTube uh, matches, oh, he hit low right, or he hit low left. And they brought the cue ball back to here because, you know, with that low. But I didn't know how much low, and how much left, and how much speed, and all that. So by doing this, this is the way you learn. You have to experiment so that you can get a feel, and I say feel because there's a lot of feel to this game. I knew when I hit that shot to get it way up here, I needed to have a good knife action through the cue ball. I need to have a good level cue. I need to put a lot of energy on that cue ball to get it to not only draw back, but to spin enough off that cushion to get it to come way up table here. You follow me? Let me show you one, one more shot here. Once again, setting it up again, same spot. I'm gonna try to draw it up here again. Try to get as high up here as I can. I don't know how far I can get it with that angle. Probably right in here is about what I feel. Okay, feel, once again, feel. Always try to pocket the ball in the pocket. Same. And that's it. I can only get it up to here. But because I've been experimenting and practicing, I know where the scratch is, so now let's try to miss the side pocket to the low side, okay? I hit it a little bit soft, but I did hit the low side. Didn't hit the speed that time, but I assure you, with that low only, it would still hit here, but it would have just rolled out further. This is a great way to practice. It's gonna turbocharge your game, you're gonna learn more quickly. You have to have a systematic way to learn the physics of these shots, and this is one of those ways. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section, I answer everyone. Powerful, you guys. 
Give it a try, it's gonna help your game. Thanks for watching, and until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing. Thank you.